Happy Sunday. What's going on? If you can hear me, let me know. I thank everybody for tuning in. It's another exciting day to be here with you all. I thank you for joining us on the live stream. I thank you for the support that you've been giving. I thank you all for just everything that you do for the community. What's good? Let's see. Cool. So, it's a new week. One week closer to my exam for the Linux Plus. Well, one week closer for the CompTIA Linux Plus XK 0 004 exam. Before we begin, I got to let you know that this video has been sponsored by the good folks over at CompTIA. They are in the chat. What's up, CompTIA? Hello, Kelsey. Hello to everyone. As we always do when I start a live stream, I want to know where y'all from. Let me know your area code or country code in the chat so I can do some shout outs before we get started. What's happening? Paul Cole, what's good? I'm a Grocky. You are not too late. You are just on time, family. 214, shout out to the 214. Dallas, Texas in the building. 815 in the building. 740. 320-915-76, look, area code, not zip code, <laughs> Dallas, Texas again, 612, Trinidad in the building, 858, okay, let's get it, 760-915-803, that's what's up, born to tech, okay, come to you, on their way to Channel Con, look, they are doing a live webinar for C. Come to you. Could you share that link if you have it for the free CEUs? For those of you that have a CompTIA certification, it's kind of hard to keep up with the next certification, but there's a great way to do it by getting C continuing education unit credits that will go towards your recertification of your certifications. So hopefully CompTIA will share that link in the description for all of you Check out the webinar. It's free. And then while you watch the webinar, you will get credit to go towards your recertification of whatever CompTIA certification you may have. It's a great way to, to keep your certifications current. That's the way I do it. So check the link when they post it in the description. 202 DMV in the building. 517 407 956 732 Jersey in the building. 703 469. Shaq gonna be down. Yeah, Shaq is gonna be in, in Vegas. So today we are giving away a CompTIA product. Um this week was an interesting week. If you did not catch my video, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Let me see if I can pull up this video. See if I can pull it up. The video from last week. So my video. Thank you for everybody that's tuning in. But if you did not catch last week's videos, I shared ten tips on certification to success. And now, honestly, the video got a lot of great feedback. And if you have not saw, if you have not checked out this video, and I'm not just plugging myself, what I want to talk about in this video is everybody that commented. So in order to get entered into this week's drawing, one way to do it is to watch the video, but I'll also let you know what to do in the description. And this week we'll be giving away Cert Master Practice for Linux Plus. But if you check this description out, so I gave 10 tips for certification success, right? This is just my tips from things I've tried in my own life. But in this description, we had over 126 comments of people sharing their tips on how they get certified and how they stay motivated and all that good stuff. If you need some ideas on how to get your certifications and all that good stuff on how to stay on track, how to manage it, check this description out because I want to send a shout out to everybody that commented, even if it was just the end of the giveaway, I think this was some great information that was shared in this comment and I thank everybody that was a part of it. 
I'll share this link in the description of this chat. Feel free to check it out. All that good stuff. So, today, I know why y'all here. We're going to start the first giveaway. Like I said, we're going to give away the CompTIA Cert Master um, practice for those that commented. And then we'll do a separate giveaway for the new Raspberry Pi 4 1 gig joint. This is 1 gigahertz. And they actually have a 4 gigahertz Raspberry Pi. I tried to find that, but they were sold out. I had a hard time getting two of these at Micro Center, but I was able to get one, and I'm gonna give away one a day. So these things right here are some beasts. The things you can do with a Raspberry Pi, oh man, it's amazing. Anyway, today's giveaway. Y'all ready? If y'all ready, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat if y'all ready for this giveaway. As y'all know, I do a Python script that picks a random winner that entered in the comment section from the video on Wednesday. I post a video every Wednesday. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. My Python script will tell you everybody that entered. So you'll see if you enter the contest correctly, it'll show your name on the screen. And then we'll select a random winner of the Python script. So uh, y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. Let's get it started. Boom. Hello, welcome to the CompTIA Linux Plus drawing. There were 97 people that entered. And here's the list of contestants. Went pretty fast. We'll scroll back up, though. And the winner is Nigel3018. Nigel3018. You are the winner of the CompTIA Cert Master Practice. Congratulations to you, my friend. And like I said, we had 97 winners. Check this out. Like, if I scroll, I'm going to scroll kind of slow so everybody can see their name. Congratulations to Nigel. Hey, Nigel, if you're in the CompTIA Slack group, send me a message and we'll get you your, your um, contest. But if you're not in the CompTIA Convos, Linux Plus, Slack group, you should be. There's a link in the description. Hit me up or hit hit um Kelsey up. Either way, congratulations to you, Nigel. But here's all the contestants. There were 97 people that entered. We'll do another contest this Wednesday. So stay tuned. I'll post a video. If you don't see it Wednesday, look for it Thursday. But either way, it's going to be posted Wednesday where you can be entered to win another Contier product again. Yo, congratulations and thank thank you to everybody that entered. This was, I really like this. Y'all enjoy this? If y'all do, hit this video with a like. If y'all really liking how this is going, let me know. Hit me with, hit this video with a like and share it out. I, I really do appreciate y'all. Do some shout outs. Can you search a list by last name, Dewan? Let me see if I can short my list by last name. Hey, hey, Ambrose, next time I post this list, it will be shorted, sorted by last name. I got you. I got you. I'll rewrite my script, sort it by last name to make it easier to read. That's a great suggestion. I got you. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to sort it by last name. Um, I may sort it by first name. It might be easier to sort by first name because everybody doesn't use the last name. So I may sort it by first name. So whatever your your um, YouTube username is, it'll be sort, sorted by that in alphabetical order. That's probably the easier way to do it since everybody doesn't use like first, last name or two different names. So I, I sort it that way. So I got you, family. I'm making myself a note now. Bet. Cool. Yo, thanks everybody for um that that joined. That's what's up. Two one four in the building. What's up, Michael Rutherford? What's up, IT Wise? What's going on? S Guz, what's popping? Daniel, what's popping? Tony, Neil, B Boy. Paul, all right, 
So, yeah, by first name, cool. Pseudo remote, seriously, mess up your day. Hey, that will. You putting them codes in them chats. <laughs> Biggest turnout today. Shout out to everybody that, that signed up. It was it was a lot of love today. And last week, it's, it's what's up. And thank you for everybody that's tuned in right now. Um, so what I'm showing you right now is my OneNote. And I'm going to be totally transparent because that's what I plan to do on this, this event. Um, so I started going through the Cert Master, the, the Cert Master um, Learn, right? And as I was going through it, so here it is. I think I was on 20-something percent last week. And just being totally transparent, as I'm going through it, I'm like, yo, this information isn't really clicking. What am I doing wrong? So I kind of went back to my roots on how I actually studied. So what I went through is everything that I studied before in CertMaster, I went back and put it in my OneNote. And then I also started making note cards of like the questions and commands and things that I struggle with. So that way I don't have to forget the things that I've studied previously. I can kind of keep going and saying, okay, I struggle with this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do some memorization and some some use case on my VMs and my other um, CompTIA utilities in order to get it working right how I want it. Like I have a VM which is this is VMware for CentOS seven. I'll log into it real quick. And so as I'm going through, let me log in. Let me focus on logging in first. All right, so as I'm going through my cert master learn, like I said, I'm using my OneNote, I'm using my note cards, and I'm actually labbing up the things that I've that I'm learning in my VMs, so that way I can really see how these commands are um, are being used, the syntax, also understanding the options that goes with the arguments to understand how they actually work. Um, that's what I'm doing now and and it's really going to take me some time but I'm going to put it in the time so I can be successful because that's what you have to do um, so like I said I'm using my OneNote to make sure that I'm going through everything in my exam topics and what's cool I don't know if you all use OneNote but what I started doing like this section here assume super user privileges when necessary you can create hyperlinks that'll take you down to that section so each each I start in this lesson you will learn then I use hyperlinks to take me down to that specific section so that way it's okay this is what I need to cover here boom just take me down to that section like I'm really doing my best to be organized and to use all the utilities that I can to make sure that I put myself in the best position to pass this exam you know what I mean so all right so Edgar has a question. He says, hello, quick question. Will Linux Plus be good for someone that does not know much about Linux? Yes. Yes. If you want to be in IT, if you want to be in IT right now, um, what's your goal? I think that's the, that's the question. What is your goal? But when we talk about Linux, whether you're a network engineer, a systems engineer, a system administrator, a... De developer a you name it <laughs> right now Linux is a skill set that's going to help you in your career and the quicker you can grasp it the less you have to worry about it later on in your career um, because it's only become it's only going to become more prevalent um, for a couple reasons I recommend Linux um, one reason is because it's all over and it's um, going to make you more valuable but another reason is that just getting used to command line syntax I'm not sure if a lot of you know about PowerShell but check this out so when you're using PowerShell um, a lot of the aliases they're called aliases but if I do a DIR right you can see the files that I have here and if you know anything about Linux I can do a cat and then let's say you told this text file and I can view the text file. So a lot of the command line functionality that you learn through Linux is actually 
transferable to PowerShell. So it only helps you to be able to be um, better at command line in, in, in Linux and transfer those skills to Windows as well. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Like the skills are very transferable and understand the command line syntax. So in my opinion, learning Linux won't do anything but improve your resume, your value, and your knowledge. I hope that answers your question, family. Yes, we announced the giveaway, but I need to do another giveaway for Raspberry Pi. So here's a question. Give me an idea on how we should do this giveaway. Who's first? I'm looking for some ideas on how we can do this giveaway for this Raspberry Pi this week. Oh, oh, okay, me. <laughs> Tony, I, I, you know what? Last time I did pick the first one. I did pick the first one. Keep it random. Give it to me. Linux Huddle. Huh. Uh, you know what? The, the Linux Huddle does its own giveaways. This one is exclusive to those that are on the live stream. Give it to me. You can just give it to me. Assign a name, a number, and pick a random number. Okay, 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 cool. Let me see. Write a bad script that randomly selects. You know, I, the, the problem with randomly select, I would need a whole bunch of names. Then I got to parse those names from YouTube. So it's not that simple. Run a Python script again. Or a question why people... You know what? Okay. In, in two words, let me see. Let's do it like this. In five words, tell me why you should win. In five words or less. Win a win a chicken dinner. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> In five words or less, tell me why you should win. Look, don't you do it? I need a media server. Okay. I need to build a smart mirror. I can use it to run Linux. Okay. I really need a pie. I don't. I love Linux. Raspberry will run my Linux. Crap, it was six. Uh, to get better at Linux. Okay, because I'm awesome. I need <laughs> Linux so I can learn now. I'm a, I love Linux because I'm in Africa, bro. Man, you know how much that shipping would be? <laughs> I'm a beginner in tech. Okay. Let me see. I just want knowledge and wisdom. Hey, Derek Holloway. How many, how many words is that? That's too many words. I was about to get, cook you up. I'm hungry for knowledge. We're going to go with Larry Harris. We're going to go with Larry, Larry Harris. I'm hungry. Oh, man, Vince. Vince, I'm a single black father. Bro, you just missed it. I sure would have plugged you. <laughs> Yo, but um, we're going to go with Larry. Larry Harris. I'm hungry for knowledge. Because he want to learn, he's hungry for knowledge. I got you, family. I got you. Shout out to Larry. Hit me up either on Twitter or in the the um, Slack channel, and I'll hook you up with this Raspberry Pi. I'll get it in the mail tomorrow. Congratulations to you, Larry. Um, being hungry for knowledge is really important in IT. Like, it's extremely important. Um, I can't stress enough how taking your learning and isn't the, the importance of it. You know what I mean? There's so much opportunity out here, no matter what you want to do, but you really have to embrace it. And the hungrier you are, the more opportunities you seek, the more people you surround yourself that has the knowledge that you're looking for, the better position you'll be in the long run. So shout out to Larry. Make sure I write that down as well. Shout out to Larry Harris. But hey, that winner went a chicken dinner and that single black father. <laughs> Both of them have me cracking up. That's dope. Hey, but if you are a single black father, man, shout out to you. Salute, family. Salute to you for stepping up and taking care of your kids. Much love. And anybody else, single mothers, fathers, and in, just salute to y'all. Because I know how rough it can be 
out of here. Yo, so I got a couple more minutes before I'm out of here. Y'all got any questions for me? Any questions for me before we up out of here? Any questions about Linux? Any questions about Contia Study Tools? Any questions, period? What's next at the Linux? Man. That's a, that's a, you know, I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish in life in general. Um, right now, I'm focused on Linux. I think once I'm done with Linux, I'll worry about what's next. But I'll tell you what's important to me right now. Let's talk about right now. So, um, my family, of course, and right now in my position, there's so much to learn. I'm a senior network engineer, and there's a lot to learn. You name the technology, I'm pretty much able to learn it and be a part of it. So I'm just at the point to where I know Linux is going to improve my skill set. So once I get that, now it's like, okay, maybe I really want to focus on this area of technology or this area of technology. Um, so I think I'll focus on right now Linux. And then after that, then I'll make a decision on what's next. You know what I mean? I got a lot on my plate, not not to, not complaining, not saying nothing. It just, it just don't make sense to say, oh, what's next? Because my plan right now was just to learn this because if I can learn this, it puts me in a better viewpoint of where I want to be. You know what I mean? I'm doing server plus at the Linux. Shout out to you, Michael. Um, Yom said, do you, do you use Visual Studio Code? No, I use... PyCharm, actually. I don't use Visual Studio. I use PyCharm. Born to Tech uh, or Guided Labs. Carla says, how many hours are you studying for Linux? Man, so today I woke up just like on the week. Let's say throughout the week, I give it at least an hour, hour and a half. I try to set aside from like 9 to 10 or 9 to 10.30, depending on how I feel. But like today, I woke up probably about 8.30 and I studied till about 11.30. Then I went and walked with my my wife and my baby. Um, so we did that, came home, made made a sandwich, and then I studied some more um, till about 4 o'clock. So today I put in about, I would say about six and a half, seven hours worth of studying. Now granted, most of that was Linux, but I also was doing some... Um, network engineering stuff as well because I'm rebuilding my lab and I'm trying to combine the two to get some things accomplished. So probably throughout the week, my goal like from here on out is to do at least, I would say 15 to 20 hours a week. That's my goal, 15 to 20 hours a week up up into preparation for the exam. So it's a lot, but it gotta be done. You know, if I can do an hour to two a day, you know, let's say hour hour a day, that's five days a week, so that's five hours. And then on the weekends, if I can do four to five hours a day, then that puts me definitely at the 15-hour mark, you know what I mean? And if I can do a little bit more than an hour a day throughout the week, then I'm golden. So, but either way, 15 to 20 hours a week should be enough for me to be fully focused on this to be successful. That's fantastic. Let me see. So, uh, yes, I use Slack, chat, lab every day. What's good? Uh, studying for Linux Plus. Will you be ready? Yeah, I believe I'll be ready in 19 days. But I'm not testing on 19 days. So I'll probably test like three or four days after that 19 day. Because that 19 day is a Friday. So if I'm ready on that 19 day, then I'll schedule my exam on that day for the next week. Then I'll have that whole weekend as well to study. So... That'll be like my for real cram session. You know what I mean? What task engages? Hey, is that a question, um, Ambrose? He says, give a shout out. R, double R. Shout out to you, family. Uh, how long you been studying? I've been studying for what, 11 days? 11 days now. Hustle every day. Gotta get it. It said, does Sir Master help with 
I'm lacking time to read. Man, that's the thing. Like, Cert Master is a lot of reading. Um, it's like a combination of reading and videos, and it's a combination of everything. I think it, 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 it challenges you um, to put in the effort. You know, a lot of times I will go through courses that's all videos, and I feel like I'm still missing stuff. But, like, when I can read, that's how I really learn information. You know, videos show me how to do something. But reading, actually, I learn. I, it's like knowledge. It's, to me, it's totally different from watching a video and reading. Like, reading something, watching the video, and then actually applying it. It's like a combination of all three, you know. Because sometimes I can't read a book and understand something. I need to watch a video and, and see somebody visually explain it. And then, okay, I understand it. But then once I apply it, you know, that's why I, I, Lab Every Day has always been a part of my tech learning and just in anything I apply because I don't really understand it until I lab it up. You know, and for you all, it's that's what I highly recommend, no matter what you're work, working on to understand, whether it's coding, whether it's engineering, no matter what it is, lab it up and put it in practice because knowledge not applied is not knowledge. You don't, you're not learning. You know, so you, you don't really understand it until you can A, implement it, and B, teach it to somebody else. You know what I mean? So that's just how I feel about it. Uh, what engages you most at work as in. So for, for me, I'll answer this question. What, as a network engineer, like my task is, I have a few, but like I support clients. So, depending on the, the issue, it could be WAN or LAN. A lot of times it's WAN, um, troubleshooting, BGP, connections, ACLs, NETs, um, firewall connectivity, tracing down, access to see what needs to actually happen. So, for me, it's, it's everything is a challenge, whatever I can learn, you know, whether it's um, implementing a new client or troubleshooting a, a ticket or an outage. And I love it all. You know what I mean? Um, and how Linux ties into that is a lot of times I support system engineers. So if you know anything about essential system engineers, they have Linux servers often. And during that time of troubleshooting, it helps me to understand the Linux nodes that I'm supporting. So that's why Linux actually ties into that. Um, I can actually understand, okay, I need to look at each zero or I need to see what routes is on this device. Okay, let's troubleshoot DNS. All right, let's do a TCP dump. Okay, um, what ports are open? You know, just kind of understanding that and then along along with understanding privileges and things like that. So that's how Linux kind of goes into that. Let me see. What up, fam? What's up, Tyler? Carlos, can you talk about that store club membership? That is a great deal. The that store club. Store club membership? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what the store club membership is. Unless I missed it or something. Ah, CompTIA. That's a question for CompTIA. Sir Master Pro definitely help you apply learning used by doing. Then I yep, facts. Ah, oh, it's brand new. Yes, we launched it and we highly recommend it if you're looking for, if you're looking to really pair the learning products and serve vouchers together. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Come to you, we'll have to talk about that one. Unless I missed it. Ah, $49 per year and get 20% off including bundles. Facts. That's what's up. Uh, where do you find this store membership? Is there a link? Yeah, share the link, come to you. Any, any suggestions, audio books, so I can let, hey, a great audio book, David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me, if you have not listened to that audio book, it's dope, like, it's extremely dope, like, extremely, extremely dope, it's 7.30, I'm about to get out of here, but I recommend the David Goggins, um, Can't Hurt Me, his story is, I'm, I'm sure you probably heard it, but it's dope. Um, another great audio book is Mastery by Robert Greene. 
Let me see another one. The Power of the Habit by Charles DeWig. Pimp by Iceberg Slim. If you're ready for that, though. Let me see what else is pretty good. Oh, uh, Ghost in the Wires is another good book. It's by William L. Simon and um, Kevin Mitnick. Ghost in the Wires, if you have not read that book, it's an excellent book about the early days of hacking. Yeah, check it out. It's a, it's a really good book. Ghost in the Wires. And let me see another good book. I got a whole bunch of books in here. Uh, the Martian. I know you probably seen the movie, but by Andy Weir, the The Martian, the book is actually re very well written because it's very detailed and accurate um, on the science that he had. That Mark Watney, yeah, Mark Watney actually had to use when he was on Mars for all that time. So The Martian is pretty good as well. Another great book is The Cartel by Don Winslow. It's about the me Mexican drug trade. It's, it's a really good book. So hopefully that helps you. I hope y'all have a great, excellent week. God bless. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Shout out to the winners of the contest, Larry Harris and Nigel. Peace out.